Hello there, this is Chad Wine and Trail Farms. Uh, we're going to have a busy day today because yesterday we spent all day on the internet on these auction sites trying to buy a combine and bean header and you know what we got? Zero. Because apparently at the end of the year, more people had more money than I did for a new uh, bean head and combine. So we're driving along here in southern Guthrie County, northern Adair County on White Pole Road. We're going to go look at a small implement dealer. And then uh, I have my wife with me and we're going to go do a little deer hunting, which is always fun on farmland. So stick with us and we'll keep, take a bunch of short videos and you can come with us. Here we are driving through Redfield. Heartland Co-op and over here is Feeders Grain where we actually bought most of our seed corn this year and they also have very good soybeans. Yes, we got the corn head home but we're finding the four there's a little saw a little light when it's soft out so luckily we have a winch chained to the front of the tractor and we will get it in the shed one way or the other. Or we'll pull the four wheeler in half. I guess then we just buy UTV. Here goes nothing. Oh, and something I thought of that no one ever tells you with the winches, it's something you either figure out or something tells you, but you see it's wrapped about, I don't know, six times in there. You never want to pull the winch wire all the way out to where it's just the wire. It'll normally break if you got any tension at all. So what we do is we wound it about six times and we still got a little tension. It wasn't long enough to get the tractor anyway, but you don't want to pull a winch hard when it's totally out. You just want to wind it a few times so it has something to grab. Well, let's, we're giving it a try now. Okay, got the chain. It's going on its own power again. You can see a few times we thought we were going on power and we couldn't. Let's see if we can get the shed now. This is one of those times you do say to yourself, I should have built a slightly bigger shed. I just, I probably need to get the camper out, but it's just, with the way the head sits on the trailer, it, it hangs off so far, I just can't get it to go past the front of the tractor and fit. So, we'll end the video here, we'll rearrange it a little bit. We might have actually let this sit out until the next day, because we're going to come and rearrange the shed again. But we'll get the head in there, because it needs a little TLC here and there. It's in pretty good shape, sat a little bit, but uh, we want to go through it, kind of tinker with this winter, and then next fall.